Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am not wearing clothes. I'm sorry. You guys, I'm freezing. I'm in my slanket. I'm cold. It's only 37 degrees here in Wisconsin and I am not used to the cold temperatures. Snooki's not used to it. She's literally been snuggling with me on my slanky all weekend long. So she's going to go in the back. Um, of me and I am going to be doing my candle empties. I do apologize for not wearing clothes, but literally like I have a muumu on underneath here, but I am like just so, so cold. I don't know if you guys have heard of this before. It's called the Slanket. I actually bought it a long time ago for my dad and when he passed, I got it and oh my gosh, it is so, so snuggly and warm, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna be doing this video in this Slanket and I am going to be nice and cozy, and I don't know where you guys are, but I pray that you guys have a slanket too. So I have a lot of candles to discuss with you guys. Um, I actually burned a lot. I burned a lot of Kringle. I burned a lot of Bath and Body Works. Um, we even have some off brands in here to discuss. Um, a DW Home, some Yankees, um, a Village. So let's get started here. Um, let me start out with my Bath and Body Works candles first. I finished a Salty Caramel. This one was one of my favorites, and I think I I think this this bad boy is the only one that I have left. And um, yeah, I decided to burn it because we cannot hold on to our candles, you guys, anymore. We have to burn these candles. Enough is enough. Um, the hoarding has to stop. So I decided that this one would be perfect for this time of year. I started burning it, I believe, in late September, possibly, and it did pretty good. The burn was was really nice. I think I had one problem with one of the wicks over here, as you guys can see, but other than that, the smell on this, you guys, is amazing. It is so good. The description reads, sweet cream and caramel sprinkled with glazed pecans. Everyone loves a good nut. And then I also burned Enchanted Woods. This one was from a collection that actually never came out in the stores. It was the Forest Collection, and this was the only one that I had, and I was holding on to it for dear life, and I said to myself, Angela, burn it. So I did. This one, oh my God, you guys, everything smoky, everything Wisconsin forest and fall, simply amazing. Burn was pretty good. It says a rich blend of chestnut, maple, nutmeg, creamy musk, and vanilla bark that transports you to the most magical place in the woods. And it was so magical and I loved it. Um, that is what this one looks like here in case you guys are wondering. And then I also had gotten this as a gift from a viewer. This is Chocolate Pistachio. This is one of their new ones. I guess everyone was saying that this one smelled like peanut M&Ms, but I didn't get that at all. I actually got... Um, like cookie dough, raw cookie dough with possibly nuts mixed in, but definitely a cookie dough type of scent. Things were going really great, uh, great for this one up until about, I think it was halfway and things started to falter. Um, the scent on this was really good, but the burn was not. And also I love the rose gold uh, lid here. I think that's so pretty. And then I also have a three wick from Aldi. It was so weird. Somebody had said something to me on Instagram, I think, about these Aldi three wick candles, 14.5 ounces, um, definitely a lot cheaper than the Bath and Body Works one. So I thought that I would give it a try and shit show. Um, this was sugared cinnamon pumpkin. Everything was going great until I burned about a fourth of the way down. And then, no, actually, I take that back. Everything was not going great. Nothing went great in the beginning, in the middle, or the end. And this is definitely not the end. I'm throwing it away. I can't do anything about this. Um, tunneling started right away, now that I remember correctly. And I noticed it right away. So I put aluminum foil on it, and the aluminum foil never helped matters. It didn't do anything. So um, I put it on my candle warmer. I got most of the scent out. It still does smell uh, like a sugared cinnamon donut kind of thing, like with a tiny little bit of added pumpkin. You guys know how they, they say that it's pumpkin, but it's not really pumpkin. I mean, we don't really know what it is. So yeah, I can't really do anything with that. And then 
I also finished these two baby jars. This is from Walmart. This is the American Home by Yankee Candle in the scent Shades of Fall. I think I bought these on clearance um, last fall and I banked them and I just decided to pull them out and then banana walnut bread. I had these in my bathrooms, which my bathrooms are not that big and I couldn't smell a thing. Nothing, nada, zilch, nothing. So off they went, off off you go, off you go into the forest. Um, this one here is a DW home candle and this one is orchid and ebony. And this is the little label here. And I had such good luck with this candle as you guys can see, it's absolutely gorgeous, uh, beautiful purple. What I'm doing though is I'm actually saving this and I'm using it for a votive. I have a little votive holder in there that I put in there. And I'm just using this in my room because when the votive is lit, this lights up and it's purple and it's gorgeous. And the scent on that candle was absolutely beautiful. The burn was flawless. I had no problems and I, I loved it. Um, let's see. Now let's talk about this bad boy. This one is called Rigby's Ice Cream Parlor. I don't know if you guys remember this one or not. I got it at Gordman's a while ago for $5. It came in this like cardboardy tin type thing. And then the candle was inside. And this one um, is strawberry cheesecake. And it smelled like artificial strawberry cheesecake for sure. And I wouldn't repurchase it. I completely understand why it was $5 and, excuse me, and yeah. Done with you, off with you, off with their heads. Um, now let's get into some Kringle candles here. Kringle's PR company contacted me and they sent me some candles and I literally was in love with every single scent. Um, some were strong, some were medium, and some were light throwers. Um, so I did, you know, I was completely honest with my review. I've been honest with all of my reviews. Um, but this one was a lumberjack, and this was a super nice scent. It was a little smoky. Just, it reminds me of like a man who has been outside chopping wood all day, but he really doesn't sweat much. You know, he just has like that kind of wood chop type scent to his bodice and he just you know he just kind of freshened up a little bit and sat right down next to you and you guys started watching a movie and you're snuggling and oh it smells so good so this one was kind of a light burn though um scent wise I remember it didn't throw as much as I would have liked to but I have recently learned that some people do not like throw in your face scents like I do I like something to be strong I like it to be so so strong that like my ideal candle would be if I could smell it throughout the whole entire house like for weeks on end um but this one was a lighter scent. It was kind of a background scent. So that was kind of nice. That was a really good one. And then um, we have these two puppies and all of the Kringle candles I actually did reviews on. So if you guys are interested in that, um, definitely look those up. But this one is Gilded Apple and this one is Pumpkin Sage. And as you guys can see, these look a little bit different. Um, the glass is shaded. So this is red and this one is orange. And um, just an FYI, these glass jars are not painted like some companies do. It's actually the color of the glass. Um, it's not painted on there. So when you burn the candle, the paint's not going to start chipping off like some companies. But this one was really good. It was just kind of like a basic apple, like a basic um, tarty, sweet apple. Very, very nice. And then the pumpkin sage was really nice too. You know, you wouldn't think of putting pumpkin and sage together, but it was just a really nice type of scent. And the burn on these were super good as well. Burned all the way down to the bottom. A little tiny, I guess, bit of soot on this one. Um, but all the other Kringle candles, none of them had soot at all. Um, and then we have, what is this one? Autumn Harvest. Oh my God. So, so good. So this one is, um, it kind of looks like this. I, I'm hoping you guys can see the labels here. The sun is kind of different today, but this one is like literally oh, one of my favorites out of the whole collection. It's just so good. It just brings me back to fall memories, like walking outside and smelling the leaves and the trees and 
you know, a tiny little bit of apple, a tiny little bit of pumpkin. On the top here for the notes, it says pumpkin spice, apple green, butter, caramel, wood, goramond, I believe is how you say it. I don't know. And just sweet. And I could definitely also smell the sweet of like the butter. So good, you guys. So good. So that was a good one. Um, then one of my other favorites from Kringle was leaves. And this jar, you guys, beautiful. So, so gorgeous. The color of this jar, the leaves, so beautiful beautiful scent. It just brings you back to your childhood. Like when you were a kid and your parents would rake the leaves outside and they would make a big pile for you and you would jump in and oh, so good. And then the next one I have here, I finished apple basil. This label too, you guys look at the label. It is so beautiful. So pretty. This one was pretty strong. Um, and just a beautiful burn, beautiful throw, beautiful everything about it. I absolutely loved it. Now let's get into some of the Yankee candles that I burned. I only have two large jars and that's it. Um, I'm actually burning a ton of Yankee right now. So you guys will see more Yankee in the next coming videos of my empties and also reviews. But this one was Autumn Fruit. And as you can see, there's a lot of soot going on. We had problems with the burn and the wick kind of traveled and it wasn't as strong as what I would have liked. Um, pour on this was 2012 and it's so weird because a lot of people were saying back in 2012 that this one was super strong. So I don't understand what happened with mine. I probably bought it at the outlet. I don't know, but Actually, I think I did buy this at the outlet. It doesn't have an outlet sticker on it, but God only knows. And then the next one that I have to show you guys from Yankee Candle is Vanilla Oak. I thought that this one would be good. You guys saw this in my, was it my September picks or my October picks? September picks, I think. And um, yeah, I just thought that it would be really nice um, kind of woodsy type of feel for, you know, when the weather gets a little warmer out, or gets a little cooler outside. And um this one was kind of light as well. Nice vanilla meets oak, but uh, more vanilla than oak. But I wasn't really sure now that I think about it that it was more vanilla than oak. Then maybe it was just that the scent was really low and I wasn't smelling the scent strong enough. I don't know. Um, beautiful, like kind of masculine candle though. It can be for, you know, anybody, but. And then... The last candle that I have here to show you guys is a village candle, and I bought this at TJ Maxx. This one was $9.99, and this is a Moonlight Serenade. Now, they do not offer this name of candle on their website. They renamed it, so if you guys are interested, look at the label, um, and you know you can order. But this one was a really masculine scent. Burned super nice, black as night wax, and um, I really just like the label. I just think it was really nice. I think I started burning this in August um, when it was still super hot outside and I just kind of wanted something like, you know, dark and mysterious for nighttime. But yeah, this burn was really, really nice and I really enjoyed it. So that is the empty of all of my candles that I have been burning. Again, if you guys want reviews on any of these candles, I have done reviews on all of them with the exception of the Aldi candle and the strawberry short, uh, strawberry cheesecake candle. Every other candle here I have done a review on, so make sure to look that up. But thank you guys so much for watching, and please, I apologize for my slanket, but it was a must. I hope you guys all enjoyed yourselves, and I will return for more candle empties. Don't forget to subscribe. I actually upload a video every single day at 5 a.m., so look for that, and yeah, I'll see you guys all later. Bye, everyone.